Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to create and delete AWS EC2 instances using the AWS console. I have logged into my AWS account. So I am going to show you how to create an EC2 instance. I will be able to click this and get started or I can just go to the services and again in the recently visited you see EC2. I can click this and get started or I can click compute and it will show EC2 and we can get started. So click launch instance. The first thing is you need to provide a name for your instance. So I am going to create a Linux VM so I am going to name it as Linux VM. Then we need to select the application and the OS images that is the Amazon machine image I need to select. So here for the quick start they have provided a lot of images like Amazon Linux images, Mac OS, Ubuntu, Windows and if you wanted to browse more AMIs you can click this link and then it will show you more AMIs. So I am going to select Ubuntu and the Ubuntu server 22.04 it's a free tier eligible so I am going to select it if I wanted to change something I can see here I can select another free tier app which is available which is the 20.04 I will leave it with 22.04 portion then the architecture I am going to leave as the default and next we need to select the instance type right so this by default it has providing me the instance type as T2 micro which is the free tier eligible you can look for the other instances but currently I have only this instances as a free tier eligible so I am going to go with that so but if you wanted to compare the different instance types you will be able to select this link and see the different instance types so then we need to create or select a key pair so using which we will be able to connect to this instance so I am going to create a new key pair so I will call this as a Linux VM click create pair so I will save this VM file locally whenever we wanted to connect from the local system we will be able to use this pair and the network settings so it is going to use this VPC network and it is going to create a security group and by default it is going to allow SSH traffic from anywhere so we'll I'll just show you the other configurations so click edit we are not going to change anything but if you wanted to select a specific subnet you can select it for example we'll select this as the default subnet right and auto assign public IP that is enabled so we will get a public IP assigned to this virtual machine and the create security group it is going to uh, create a security group with this name so instead we'll give it as a Linux VM security group so we can call it as Linux VM security group right so we would like to connect to this VM SSH to it so I am not going to change this rule but I am going to add another rule to it right so I am going to provide HTTP access to this the port number 80 source type uh, I am going to give since this is just for the demo purpose I'm going to give anywhere so which means from any uh, system any IP address we should be able to access the port 80 right. and the configure storage so I'm going to leave it as default for the free tier eligible you'll be able to configure up to 30 GB right advanced settings so I'm not going to change much here but uh, I'm going to just add the user data so which means I want Apache to be installed after this VM is provisioned. So I am going to provide that information here. So this is the Ubuntu system. So I am going to first update. Then we are going to install Apache 2. Then we are going to start that. We are going to check the status ok ok 
okay so we are all good so we are not going to modify anything any other changes in the advanced details okay click launch instance so it is creating it is launching the instance so it has successfully initiated the launch of instance the instance has not been created it has successfully launched click view all instances right here you can see the instance status pending right so the instance state should be running as well as the status check it has to be two out of two then only the instance will be in a proper state to use so we have to keep monitoring the status check and here is a refresh button so refresh the button once in a while to see whether the status has been changed while the system is coming up let us go and review the further instance information so you will be able to see the instance information down here right so you can see the details so you can see the public ip address of this particular instance and what is the dns name for this instance and what is the instance state and what is the vpc id subnet id so all these informations you will be able to find in this first details tab and then in the security tab you will be able to find more information about these security groups as well as right what are the ports open and all these informations you will be able to find here what is the inbound role outbound role all these informations you'll be able to find here again in the network session so you'll be able to see the public ip information as well as the private ip information and the subnet uh, the availability zone so all these informations you'll be able to find here in the storage section you'll be able to find the storage information what is the volume size and what is the attachment status all these information you'll be able to find here so in the status checks again you're showing the status right so currently it is initializing and in the monitoring so you'll be able to see the status right so once the instance is up and running you'll be able to find the information here and if you have any added any tags so you'll be able to see here by default it will add the instance name it will create a tag with the instance name let's refresh and check okay so now we could see the status check also has been passed right so this is the public ip we have provided the user data to install apache 2 and start the apache 2 so let's copy this public ip address paste it here okay we could clearly see the apache 2 has been successfully installed and started on the new vm which we provisioned okay now, now let us see how we will be able to connect to this instance you can connect to this instance by clicking the connect here right so there are multiple options in which you will be able to connect so i'll sh show the easy and quick option to connect so here uh, we have an option easy to instance connect and you can see that this is a public ip address has been already populated and the using the username ubuntu we are going to connect now so click connect we have successfully connected to the easy to instance using the user open to so now if you want to perform any operations we need to do use sudo and perform that operation so in case if you wanted to log in as root you can do that you can just provide the username as root and then connect so now we have logged in as root so you'll be able to perform any operation in this vm okay so now we have seen how to create a easy to instance from the AWS console. Now let's see how we will be able to stop and start this instance. So you can click this instance state. So you can click the stopped instance. So it is going to ask for the confirmation. Let's confirm stop, right? So it gives the information as successfully stopped. But you can see the instance state is stopping. So the instance has been successfully stopped. Now let us see how we can start the instance. Go to the instance state, click start instance. So you see the notification successfully started, but the instance state is pending. So you can clearly see now the IP is different and the instance state is now running. So we will be able to start this check the status here as well status checks okay so it is says the system reachability check passed and the instance reachability check passed right now let's copy this because the ip has now changed so we should be able to access the apache server in the new ip yes we are able to access it right 
so now we have seen how to create start and stop so the next one is we'll see how to delete and terminate this instance you can click terminate instance right so it gives the warning that the root ebs volume will be deleted whether still do we want it to terminate so click terminate it says successfully terminated but the instance state is shutting down and see the instance state is terminated okay so we can go to this instances so we could see this instance has been terminated in this demo we have seen how to create an aws ec2 instances from the aws console how to connect to that instance how to stop the instance start the instance and how to terminate delete the instance if you like this video please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching the demo